Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to LEGO Rock Raiders PlayStation 1 version. So, if you've been watching some of the more recent Basmod videos on Manic Miners, you'll know that I have been interested in... My <laughs> you will know that I have been interested in having a little explore of this game, because I have been well informed by educated people that this game is vastly different from the standard uh, sort of top-down management game that the PC version of Rock Raiders is, and I know next to nothing about this one, so I am rather curious to get into it and have a little bit of a look, because it'll be an interesting contrast between Rock Raiders, which is something I suppose to know lots about, and it also being a totally different game. So let's get on with it, shall we, if I can figure out the buttons, because, um... I don't know the uh, I don't know the X and triangle and circle and square very well, and um, I have a knockoff Xbox controller which has letters on it, not shapes, which is going to make the button prompts rather difficult to deal with. But never mind, have this cool music. Okay, so we've got a number of different levels here that we can play. Apparently, there's more levels than the ones that are displayed here on the screen. This music is very loud, isn't it? I have to try and turn this down a little bit. Right, I put the audio down a little bit, which should hopefully make life a little bit more bearable. Yeah, apparently there's more missions um, than this, but I'm informed by somebody that apparently it's rather difficult to find them. But hey, I don't want to go through all of these in uh, in one day. So, interestingly, Awesome and Waterways share names with the PC levels, but Easy Pickens, Rescue Mission, and Blown Away all seem different. So let's go with Easy Pickens, since that's probably not too difficult, and see what we find. Because, yeah, I know absolutely nothing about this, other than the fact that it exists. Oh, yes, I should just emphasize that I'm playing the European version, because there's a European version and an American version, and apparently they are vastly different from one another with different levels. Right, I uh, see that the uh, chief has decided to dance, which is um, excellent. I'm glad to see that everybody is so cheery. <coughs> right, it seems we're not going to get anything read out. Maybe that's... um. A symptom of no, like low, low disk space on the PS1, I don't know. The ship scanners have detected some energy crystals in a small cavern just below the planet's surface. I need you to find them. I've found somewhere safe to beam you down, just to the east of an underground river running through the cavern. Energy crystals are on the other side of the river, so you'll need to find a way to get across it. Why did you put me down on this side, then? Why didn't you put me down on the other side, you great numpty? Never mind. <clears throat> when you've found enough energy crystals, make your way back to the teleport pad so that I can beat you home. Oh, okay, because yeah, apparently this is sort of vastly different, so we seem to have some very different coins here. Oh, I see, these are perhaps like the um, PlayStation achievements, if I remember correctly, PlayStation runs achievements by like bronze, silver and gold instead of Xbox, which does like a number for it. So if we get like five green crystals, we get a bronze, but if we also get two red crystals, we get a silver, and so on. Interesting. Oh, and there's time requirements as well. Oh, goodness, I've never been very good at that. All right. Um, um, let's see if we can play the game. Oh, goodness. Oh, I get to select a person. Oh, how exciting. So we can have sparks. He has especially, he has specially modified equipment, allowing him to double up on all of the pickups that he collects. That would be useful when you go into a sandwich shop. We could have double sandwiches. That would be nice. Nox, the geologist. He is able to see further on the radar and is able to drain energy from the rocks, allowing his shield to reach up. Shields? I'm sorry, what is this? The Starship Enterprise? Axel, driver. As well as driving ground vehicles faster, he can automatically repair any vehicle he is controlling. Jet, pilot. Has modified jetpack, allowing long distance jet jumps. How thrilling. And Bandit the Sailor, able to make the rapid rider travel faster and his shield doesn't take damage from water. Why would it shield take damage from water? I don't know. This is quite cool though. This, this seems a bit more like, um, kind of like Alpha Team if you ever played that, which um, I'm not entirely sure that I have, but that isn't the point. Um, I don't know who we'll go with. We'll go with, um, we'll go with Axel. Yes, Sparks, I mean, if I can even remember his name. Yes, you. I've forgotten your name and that's understandable that you look grim, but never mind. Now, how under the sun do I play this game? I have no idea. Oh, okay, so it, like, repeats the brief for you? Mm. Well, isn't that just absolutely charming? Interesting that the, um... 
Interesting that the different uh, people have different abilities. That could be useful for um, like taking inspiration for Manic Miners. If indeed they want to make the uh, the individual characters have some sort of special abilities, they could be inspired by the ones which are offered here in the PlayStation version. Perhaps that might be an interesting um, interesting thing to bounce off. So what's with the red crystals then? Because Rock Raiders had green and of course purple for when they were drained, but there was never a red crystal. I didn't think red crystals came along until they were introduced in like the Power Miners theme, which was way way later. That was like Sheesh, I can't remember when Power Miners came out, probably like late 2000s, probably. Um, I should play the game. Prepare for action! What sort of action? I don't know. Ooh! Um. Uh, uh ooh, alright. I apologize for the, the resolution, but you know, it's, it's the PlayStation for you. Um, this is the teleport pad. Excellent. I have no idea what's going on. What the hell is this? It's a thing! I have a gun! I think. How do I shoot my gun? Oh my giddy aunt! I press the X button and I seem to fire out a great, great huge plume of death. Excellent. Goodness, this is different. Can I drill stuff by walking into walls? Yes, I don't seem to make any noise by doing that, but alright. I am actually drilling this, aren't I, right? That, that is how this works, right? No, perhaps not. Perhaps yes, perhaps no. I don't know, let's try going through here instead. Um, yeah, because the drill is going forwards and backwards very, very slightly. I apologize, it probably actually looks worse for you than it does for me, because I'm playing this in a relatively small window, and, uh, and uh, of course, for you, it's blown up to almost full screen, so um, I apologize for that. Oh, goodness, I can jump. How thrilling. And I can shoot, not that that does a hell of a lot of good. Um, what does, what does the B button do? At least what I think is the B button. Oh! oh. Turns out you're supposed to sort of actually do something with the drill instead of just, um... Instead of just, how the hell do I drive this thing? Uh, with difficulty. Oh, uh... Oh, okay, so it's like up for forwards and down for backwards, even though we should be left. Oh, God. Oh, who designed these controls? Oh, my Gideon, who designed these controls and can I please get very cross at them? Oh, my Gideon. Okay, oh, man, a lie. This is, uh, this is not straightforward in the slightest. Oh, my Gideon, can we just mine this out, please? We need to find a way across the, um, there we are. We need to find a way across the, uh, across the river. I don't know if that's going to involve, um, like, finding a bridge or not. I'm actually going to get again out of this bleeding thing if I can figure out the button. There we are, because this is really rather difficult. What are these things? Oh, goodness! There's, there's some sort of scorpion monster. Goodness, I, I, I did not realise this was the case. Um, I picked it up. Hooray! Do, do I need to take it back with me, or can I just carry on grabbing stuff? It seems like I can just carry on grabbing stuff as much as I want. It's also struck me I've got a gun. I should probably use that, shouldn't I? That didn't work tremendously well. This is not working tremendously well. Would you would you die, you infernal scorpion creature? There we go. It's not dead. It's 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 slightly dizzy, but beyond that, it is in pretty much the same situation as it was before. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a pickle. I don't know what this is, but whatever it is, I have got it and I'm pleased with myself. Right. If you don't mind, I'm gonna get the hell out of here before I get eaten to bits by a load of. Uh, load of monsters. I wonder if I might be better protected by being in the truck. Can I, um, can I get back in the truck, please? Yes, here we are, and I can try to remember the controls and fail miserably. I don't think I passed my driving test. Right then, I seem to have screwed everything up completely. Good, 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 good. Always good to know that Phil has screwed something up. My Gideon. This isn't enormously easy to aim because I seem to only have eight directions. Can I kill one of these things or not? Yes, I can. It seemed to get smaller as time went by. Okay, so I need to hold down the, the Y key. At least that's what it is for me in order to um, in order to use my tools. That seems fair enough. Oddly, the scorpions on the right hand side don't seem to be paying a hell of a lot of attention to me. Probably because I've murdered their compadres and they're a little bit um, they are understandably a little sad about this. Okay, let's see if we can continue to break our way through here. Because I think did it say we need two or did we need four for the gold? And I don't want to try and be an overachiever here, but I feel like we should at least try to um, to uh, to get something decent. 
This is interesting. Oh, there we go. Let's grab it. Let's grab this. Okay. This is interesting though that it's so different because on the one hand it seems kind of more basic in the sense that the graphics seem more rudimentary, but um, on 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 the other hand, perhaps not. Because to the best of my knowledge, at least looking, looking at the copyright information that came up uh, at the beginning of this game, this was made in 99, which of course is four years later than the original Rock Raiders was produced. So you'd imagine that this would be more advanced, but presumably it was more limited by the uh, the ability of the PlayStation. I don't know very much about the uh, the whole gaming capacity of the PlayStation, but I presume that it must have been less than the capacity of a computer at the time, due to the... Um, Due, due, due to at least what I can see here, but um, I have a funny feeling we're not going to find anything in here because I reckon we're going to have to cross over another part of the river before we're able to find the um, before we're able to find the. Um, I, I really just want to see if there's any rocks down here that I can drill, friends. I really don't need you to become a massive pain in my bottom. Oh no, there is some more stuff here, but it's not quite what I need. Oh gosh. So when it says that Bandit's shield doesn't drain from walking from, from being in water, does that mean that Bandit can walk across water? In which case Bandit would probably be the guy to do this with, because if he can just waltz across the sea, then all is fine, because I doubt I can manage this, can I? No, I've died. Excellent. I'm an idiot. Your shield ran out, so I had to beam you back to the ship. Oh, interesting. Interesting. So it's not like your shield runs out and then you're, um... Then you're subject to uh, you're subject to injury. I actually rather wanted to try this again with Bandit, to be completely honest with you. Um, oh, you can turn the mu music down here. Oh, done that, mate. Laugh easier. Um, <laughs> mission brief. I mis mis misread that as mission grief at first. Can I quit the mission, please? Because I'd rather like to do this again as Bandit because I want to see if he can um, if he can sort of walk on the water without um without causing half as much damage. Oh dear. That is the face of disappointment. It's like, look at this great big empty tray we were gonna put all the crystals in that you didn't bring back because you're a great big goose. Oh well, never mind. It's not the first time that elderly men and women have shouted at me, so hey ho, I'll get used to it. And we'll, um, we will try this again. Uh, where's Sparks gone? I, I was just reading the text message, where's Sparks gone? I think Sparks is dead. Oh gosh. That's the face of a man who knows he's about to die because he's about to be taken to my hands. Oh gosh. I think I might have killed Sparks. <laughs> this is, um, this is vastly different and unexpected from what I thought it was going to be. Man alive! So do you have like five lives? Then will the spark ever come back? Do I have to restart the entire game? I don't know. I was informed that this game is like um, passwords as you kind of progress through stuff, um, because apparently it doesn't save, uh, presumably like your progress, and you need to use the password in order to try and log stuff, which kind of confuses me now because if it doesn't remember your progress to the levels, how is it going to remember that you've killed people? I rather hope that it doesn't remember that I've killed people. Because, uh, you know, I'm rather busy this weekend and I don't have time to go to prison. So if you don't mind, I'm just going to continually press all the wrong buttons. Okay, let me try this again. And I'll try to be a little bit less stupid this time. Which I know is rather difficult for me, but hey-ho. Bandits seems to move a bit more slower. A bit more slower. A bit more slowly. Slowly, like my brain. Than, um, than Axel does, which is interesting. Sparks, then Sparks, and Sparks did, not Spark does. Um, so can I go across water without dying? Yes. Well, doesn't that make life just absolutely easy? Okay then, this should be quite straightforward then, because um, now it's just a case of getting the stuff that we previously got before, um, before I got us ever so slightly murdered. Right, if you would stand still, mate, man alive, with eight cardinal directions, you'd think I wouldn't be able to miss, but at the moment it seems like I can't hit. It's a very Lego animation, though, isn't it? On the uh, on the Scorpion when they uh, when they get hit and they kind of spin around on the, on like an ice rink. That's um, that is indeed very Lego essent. 
which probably shouldn't surprise me given that this is an official LEGO game, so uh, sorry. <laughs> All these years of playing Manic Miners has kind of accustomed me to thinking that, um, that things are more mischievous than indeed they are, but never mind. I don't know why there's no drilling sound at the moment, but um, never mind as well. Okay, good. We need, we know, fine, drill this one out as well if you want. So we need to get two more red ones and one more green one, and then we'll try and get out of here and uh, see see what sort of score we get. See if we get some sort of um, some sort of promotion for being a good boy instead of for being silly and stupid. <laughs> it's interesting now. I, I I find myself wondering whether this game was sort of planned uh, during the development of, of the of the PC version, or whether this was. Um, whether this was sort of created after the release as a sort of like a response to um, to some sort of feedback or something, whether people like uh, said that they preferred, I don't know, preferred. Can I? Yeah, because I can just walk on water, can't I? Pretty much, yeah, which is quite nice. <laughs> whether people like um, said that they wish there were like more missions in Run Like Gauntlet or something, but because um, this seems to be, uh, how do I? How do I? How do I? How do I do this? Uh, haven't I completed my objectives? How do I get out of here? Oh, I can press that button to do that. That's what I can do. I can press that to bring that up. Okay, right. Um, I don't know how this works. Do I need to? Go get out? Do I just go and get the drilling machine? Don't remember reading about that in the uh, in the brief or the grief or the whatever one the Senate's supposed to be called. But um, let's pretend that we definitely do need to do that. There we are, we brought that back. It's like explosive action. Now, how, how, how do I do this? What, what, what do I do? What do I do? What do I press? How do I get out of here? There must be a way of doing this, because you need to be able to, um... You, you, you need to be able to, um... <laughs> to finish the mission before the time runs out. What did the brief say about going back to the, um... The teleport pad? You need to find a way to get across it. Yes, yes, yes. Make your way back to the teleport pad so I can beam you home. Yes, but it doesn't say how. What button do I press? Because if I press A, that happens. If I press X and B and Y, nothing happens. That does that. The other bumper does that, which is weird. I don't know what that is. Um, I Maybe I haven't done everything I need to do. Maybe there's yet more that needs doing. I thought it was just four on each. Um... Is, is that at the bottom of the brief here? If I can ever uh, scroll all the way down to it? Oh, it was four, not four. <laughs> That's why it won't let me come home, because I haven't finished my work yet. Ah, uh, this is what happens if you try to clock out of work at 4.59. Ah, uh, I see. I am stupid. This shouldn't really surprise anybody, but never mind. I'll probably get the, uh, I'll probably have met the criteria in terms of the crystals for the, for the, uh, higher achieving ones, the, the gold and the silver, but I don't think I'm going to do very well on the time front. But never mind, it's not, um, I was going to say it's not my fault. No, it's entirely and completely my fault because I have the memory of a goldfish that's been hit over the head rather severely and thus has contracted amnesia. But, uh, never mind. I really, really hope that I've only lost Sparks for this mission, and that if I, um... Where the hell am I going, then? Um, I really hope that when I go into, like, a later mission, that, um... Is that something from my shield? I reckon that it's oh, it wrong here the whole time, and I never even realised I was being big and stupid. Yeah, that would only be for Bandit, wouldn't it? Because he'd be the only person who could reach that. Um, yeah, I hope that, like, in the next mission, Sparks is available again, because, um... He's been to the he's been to the hospital on the LMS Explorer, and now everything's going to be all right. So um, let's try this again now that we've actually finished. Congratulations, Rock Raider! You found the energy crystals and returned home safely. Thank you. Uh, there, there, well, there we are. Sorry, <laughs> I forget sometimes that it's a bit slow. Oh goodness, that's 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 long ass password. I still got a silver, that's better than I thought I'd get. But, um, 
Yeah, I should also emphasize I'm not playing this on a PlayStation because um, I don't have the Spondalix currently available in order to buy two PlayStations, two games, two memory cards, and a hell of a load of adapters. So um, I'm running this via an emulator. But never mind. Right then, we've got the password, which I'm not going to bother writing down because we've got it in the recording. So, um, hooray! We did a thing. And this seems to be the same cutscene as uh, in Rock Raiders, which is interesting. Very curious. I've also realised that's a different model of truck. The truck in the game didn't look that way. Weird. I'm glad he's got priorities and he got rid of the clipboard. Is there anything in the world which can be sacrificed? It's bleeding clipboards. Oh dear. Hello friend, how are you doing today? Nice day for a jog, isn't it? My God. See, this Axel is why you pay attention to the road. <laughs> Alrighty then. Um, what comes next? Have I actually sort of changed anything or unlocked anything or um or anything like that? I don't know. The menus are all very uh quite empty and basic, so um Oh goodness! It says that I have done a thing and of this we are glad. Alright then, should we go uh, what should we do next then? I don't know. I had a life for a mission that was only supposed to take about seven minutes, it took a surprisingly long time. Never mind. Let's do um let's do rescue mission next. Let's see what this is all about. I really hope Sparks is alive. It'd be so sad if Sparks is I was going to feel really bleeding guilty if Sparks is dead, but, um, we'll see. What happens if you run out of people? Nope, Sparks is still dead. My kitty aunt, right, a letter of condolence to his wife because he is still dead. Terrible news, Rock Radar. I killed someone, yes, I'm aware of that. Two members of a deep survey team have got lost in an underground tunnel system. Normally I would just beam them out, but due to interference from a solar storm, the teleport system cannot get a lock on them. Can you beam down there for me and find them? I've been down a tunnel scout to help you get around more quickly, but because of the teleporter problems, I'm not exactly sure it is. I'm so glad to see we're all so professional. Time is of the essence, Rock Raider, and I want those people home quickly. Oh, okay, so, um... Oh, dear. So who should I, who should I, who should I have, then? Because on the one hand, he might be able to see further in order to, in order to tell me where they are. But if he can drive the vehicle faster, ground vehicles faster, I don't think I'm going to have a ground vehicle. So I am going to try doing this with jets, even though I'm probably going to get jet killed. But hey-ho. I mean, mining operations are very dangerous, but still. <laughs> but still. Oh, dear. And Sparks is so, like... Adorable. It's just like a comedy relief character. It feels not that killing any of them would have been acceptable, but you know, killing sparks of all people. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it just makes me feel like I've done something absolutely terrible, and it is not exactly an auspicious beginning to this, is it? But never mind. Prepare for action. Yes, indeed. So, how much can I jump then? If I can even remember the jump button. Um, oh, I see, I've got like a little bar down at the bottom that tells me what I can do. Okay, I've got some stuff. This is good stuff. There's something blue on the other side of uh, this rock here, so this might be our tunnel scout. So let us drill our way through here and see what we find. I'm also curious about these textures on the floor uh, that you can see behind me, because... I don't know, I would think that they were rubble, but perhaps they're not rubble, because um, they just look like big cracks in the floor. But it does seem to say that we can pick up bits of ore, which is uh, perhaps indicative of the fact that we could uh, clear some rubble and all the like some more. I also noticed, interestingly, that it's the um, this is the Lego piece that they're using for the ore is uh, is, is the slightly uh, so much not getting ground vocals. Um, also, is it my imagination or has Jenna got a hat on? I feel like if you're going to go um, careening around the universe, it's rather important. Oh, giddy aunt. It's rather important to. Um... Oh, there we are. Okay. It's a freezer beam. I mean, I I, 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 I think that I knew it was a freezer beam. Oh, my giddy aunt. Would you kindly not do that, friend? 
How, do, how does that work? What the hell? It's like it's targeted on me or something. Oh, I don't need to aim at them. It kind of homes in. Oh, goodness, a homing missile. Giddy on. It's, a, it's, a, it's a, some sort of glowing scorpion creature. My giddy on. That's, um... That's not very pleasant. Would you lot kindly all go away, please? I'm just trying to find my friends. Oh, my kitty, I just ended up right back here again. Uh, never mind. It doesn't matter. What I do want to see, however, if I can try and wrestle with the controls, is uh, whether this gets damaged by the... With kitty on the... <laughs> turning circle, and this thing's a sharp one. Kitty on, you just go forward and to the side of it. There we are. I just want to see if... Um, if these can be damaged by um, uh, if these can be damaged by the by the scorpions, because it looks like that's got a shield on it as well, judging by the swirliness that's going on um, around. Well, there's my tunnel scout, if nothing else, but uh, that's not quite what I'm after, I don't think, because I need to find some peeps. I think about this is you kind of drive up onto the wall in order to use it, and as soon as you um. As soon as you, um, uh, as soon as you stop pressing forward, you just kind of roll back down it, like uh, like someone learning to drive wasn't quite twigged how to do a hill start yet. But never mind. <laughs> this is really interesting, actually, because I feel like I should know how this stuff works. Right? Like I feel like I should know who these people are and and how they how they function and how these bloody controls work. Oh my giddy arm! Look, go forward and to the side. No, go backwards and to the other side. There we are. Uh, it'll do, it'll do, it'll do. I'm, 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 I'm more than happy for you to... Oh, my giddy I'm more than happy for you to stop. <laughs> oh, it is so counterintuitive that these controls are fixed because you just push up to go forward whatever bleeding direction you're facing and push down to go backwards. It's real confusing. But never mind, it doesn't matter. There's definitely something of interest over there, but it doesn't look like a person. Right, come on, forward. There we are. Forward march. It looks like a bit of water, judging by how wibbly and wobbly it is, but never mind. We'll uh, need a tunnel scout for that. I also need to be careful, because if I'm not careful, I'm going to crash. I'm going to drive straight into that water, and then, um, and then we're all going to die. And by all of us, I mean Jet. If I run out of time... Does Jet still die? I really hope that Jet doesn't still die. Um, live, I don't think there's actually anything of much interest over there. Oh man, these controls. No, go forwards. Ah, these controls. Get out of this bloody thing which drives me anymore to drink. Get out of it. Thank you. Man, live. Who designed the controls to be this way? Silly billies. Never mind. It doesn't matter. Um. Yeah, this is interesting, because I feel like I should know how all of this works, and yet, naturally, I don't, and I've got the faintest idea of what I'm doing or where I'm going. Because even in the Baz mod levels, at least I know the basic core part of the mission, even if I don't know the more outskirts of it. But this time, I'm just wandering around randomly. Can you see on, like, the upper right-hand side of the of the radar there, there's, like, a, a little yellow blob? I wonder if that might be one of the people I'm looking for. Hmm. Seems to be running badly out of time, which is a bit of a tragedy, but never mind. You're taking too long! You need to work a little faster! Do you wish to attempt the mission again? Well, I'll do my best, but all right. Man, alive time limits! It has been a lot of years since I've played a video game that had time limits in it. Okay, let me uh, get rid of you. Let me try and work my way back through here. I'll get the tunnel scout again, and I'll try and push through this uh, this top bit in order to find that person. Because I reckon that'll be the first person that I'm looking for, and then I can figure out where the second one is, and then we can restart the level again and try to um, try to do this correctly without anybody um, getting lost. But hey-ho, at least it's... Um, would you drill? Would you, thank you. At least... Um, at least Jet is still alive, which is which is, is more than is more success than we enjoyed last time. So, <laughs> I'm glad I I'm glad I decided to play this, and I'm very grateful to the person I, uh, to uh, to the person who helped me set all this up. Because I should emphasize, I don't know the first thing about emulators myself. So, um, while my original plan was to get hold of a 
a European PlayStation and an American PlayStation, a European version of the game and an American version of the game, and they get a load of adapters and all of the feed-ins of various capture cards and all that sort of stuff, and probably a power adapter as well, given the American uh, the American currents are all different. Sorry. But, uh, yeah, uh, that was going to require an awful lot of money, an awful lot of time, an awful lot of Ellie, uh, an awful lot of effort, and an awful lot of elbow grease. So uh, I'm very grateful to um, to the nice person that helped me uh, set this up without requiring uh, that much uh, that much brain power on my part. Oh my giddy on! Right, come on, forward, 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 forward. No, not round in a circle. Forward. There we go. Okay, I'm starting to get the hang of this. Very, very slowly. If I get out of here, if I ever figure out how to get out of it, how do I get out of this thing? Get out of it! I, what, what, I seem to be dragged along by this creature. Would you get out of the tunnel, Scout, please? Not on this side of the river. Not on that side of the river either. Would you go forward? Oh my giddy, aren't these infernal controls? Right, forward and that way, I think. Yeah, b b b bit more, maybe. It, 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 my, I, 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 I cannot wrap my brain around these controls. It's complaining about something. It's making a beeping noise. I don't know what the beeping noise is. Oh, there's a spanner there. Brilliant. I'm, I'm glad we've got a spanner. Right, if I could just reverse myself back into a parking space, this would be lovely. Right. I have... Oh, i got to hold it, Dan. Didn't know that. There we go. Wrong. Now that we've managed that, and we've ruined everything else, oh man, I love these controls. Oh man, I cannot wrap my head around these controls. It's just too different. Man, alive. I mean, I'm not a good driver. Full stop. Right? Like, like, like. I, I g genuinely, genuinely, I'm bad at driving. But sheesh. This. Oh, there, 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 there is, there is, there is. Kitty, I can only manoeuvre my way over to him, then we might stand a chance. Right, here we are. Now, let me get out. There we are. Now, let me freeze these, uh, these, these, these fellows over here. In fact, we don't even need to bother doing that. And I just need to work my way back to the... I just need to... I just need to kitty yard. What I need to do is, like, just hold forwards and then just, like, adjust. Like, a little bit to the left and then immediately come back from left. Would you get out of the bleeding thing? When I am, um, when I, when I, when, when I want that to happen. All right. Can't thank you enough. I mean, it was kind of my job. It was kind of what you hired me for. But hang on. Oh my giddy aunt. I'm gonna get another cutscene, or uh, I'm gonna head straight back to life. Oh good. I got a perfectly inadequate rating. Put you frickin' doodle. Never mind. You know what I've just realised? <laughs> you know what I've just realised? I am not going to be able to put these passcodes in because I have no idea which one square is, which one cross is, which one triangle is, and which one circle is. I'm going to have to make some sort of translation matrix. Never mind. X seems to be A, so um, we've learned that much at least. At least we get to see the conclusion of the story. I'd hate to leave you without... Um, without much knowledge in that department. Man, I'm not going to be stuck between the devil and the deep blue sea. Alright, there's no need to look smug. I love that the uh, Lego characters in all the Lego games always have that totally blo- Where? Where's her face gone? <laughs> have that totally blase reaction to something <laughs> and they suddenly realise the uh, the ramifications of what it is they've just seen. That's interesting, in the model the um... The kind of the, I don't know what you call them, like the support beam things that come around the uh, sort of the roof of the cockpit are grey, which is in the real one they're brown. Which is bizarre. Yes. That's interesting and weird and bizarre, but never mind, it doesn't matter. Right then, so, um... <laughs> we did a thing, should we try and do another thing and try not to mess this one up quite so badly? So we've got Waterways Awesome and we've also got Blown Away. Okay, um... 
Ooh, I don't know. I'm kind. Of, I mean, this one's gonna do the like the ore objective, which has got to be pretty good. Um, but then blown away might involve like some some weapons or something. I don't know. But um, let's do blown away. I suppose why not? What does the password actually do then? Because it is saving at least my rank. Like what score I get. So what exactly does the password achieve? Because it doesn't seem like I'm unlocking anything by um by completing the missions, but never mind. We are in desperate need of energy crystals to power the explorer's main reactor core. I have decided that you are the person to find some. I feel honored. The ship's sensors have detected an underground area rich in energy crystals, and I have managed to beam down a teleport pad right in the middle of it. That's interesting, because that's a complete departure from what the PC game did. Um, sorry, I've got some random rubbish up there, so sorry, I should look at that for reference occasionally. Um, forgive me. Or don't, you know, hold it against me for the rest of my life. You know, it <laughs> don't make that much difference in the grand scheme of things. Um, yeah, because of course in, in, in the PC version, everything begins with the tool store, not the temple pad, which is interesting. Um, bizarre that they made, a, they, they, made a, they made an odd departure there. Never mind. Uh, collect as many energy crystals as you can, and then return to the temple pad. Good luck, I am counting on you. There's no time on that one? Uh, no time? That's good. I like the idea of there not being no time. Um, let's go for docks because I reckon that with his ability to recharge his shield, he might be uh, slightly less likely to get killed by me, myself, and I. So um, we uh, will have to live in hope of that. Anyway, um, yes, just I, I just find it weird that they made that sort of bizarre departure from. Uh, from uh, from the PC version. I mean, obviously, this is you know enormously different from the PC version, but um, I would have imagined they would have kept the basics roughly the same, because you know, in the sense that you know, we're still got, we're still looking for crystals, we've still got the same buildings, same same vehicles. I was going to say the same people, but we technically don't, given that you just had the little generic rock raiders. Excuse me, I just sincerely apologise. Dreadful hiccups. Um, yeah, we just the sort of generic rock raiders in the uh, in the PC version, but um, that is interesting. Right, let us prepare for action. Okay, so presumably this just means that the map is sort of zoomed out a bit more. Yay, we've got unlimited time. We can do we can we can spend as long as we want on this, which is good. Oh, there's some Donomort. A lot Donomort. I might die from it, but you know, oh giddy up. Would you um? Would you kindly die, you absolute beast? Man alive, there were no scorpions in the uh, in the PC version. Would you die? Instead of chasing me around this like some sort of Benny Hill sketch. <laughs> now, you really need to keep it up. When you hit them once, you really need to carry on with the um, with with blasting them. Would you stop blasting me in the face and die, you infernal little arachnid? No, apparently you wouldn't die. Man alive, would you just die? Thank you, and he evaporated into a cloud of smoke, and we never saw him ever again, and we were all quite happy about that. Now, how does this work? How do I use dynamite? Presumably, I need that for hard rock, which is, uh, presumably... Oh, my giddy oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Oh! You know, uh, a bit later, I was going to open my big fat mouth and start talking about spiders. Because, um, you're not dead. Can I point in, like, a diagonal direction? No, he seems to be at least a bit dead, which is lovely. Um, oh, good, here we are, some stuff. I'm grateful for stuff, I like stuff. Oh, here's the hard rock thing I was supposed to break, and I didn't because I don't know how to change my weapons. <laughs> oh, dear. But yeah, the um, <clears throat> I was always under the impression... Would you leave me alone? Thank you. I was always under the impression that... Um, how do I change my weapons? Not by pressing that. Oh, okay, I can press B for, um... Oh, goodness! It is the Super Teleport Pad! Ooh, I can click up a bit of ore and then make a small, low, mobile laser cutter. Ain't that exciting? Interesting that the, um... Like, the, the, the base play it's sitting on is, is, again, so different. Fascinating to see how different this all is. Never mind. So, I need some sort of spade or something, presumably. Um... In order to, um, I could get through there, but I need to deal with you. For would, would, would you get frozen, please? No, apparently you wouldn't. 
My goodness. Right. Uh, continue mission. Yes, please. Right. Oh, giddy on. I'm being chased. I do sincerely apologize about that. That was, um... That was, uh, that was not supposed to happen. Never mind. Minor interruption occurred, but it's all right. Um... I have now completely lost my train of thought. Whatever it was I was yammering on about before, but after two and a half years of doing this... Two and a half years of doing this? Three and a half years of doing this. I, um... I have come to the very simple conclusion that I never talk about anything important. So can I shoot while I'm here? Not really. No, because I can realise I've run out of bullets for the freezer beam. Which isn't great, and now I'm being chased by a small procession of creatures and critters that are all about six times bigger than me. Oh dear, the man alive, these spiders are insistent. They do not give up on their prey. Um... One of the things I seem to remember that I wanted to talk about and didn't mention was, of course, the fact that uh, in in the PC version, the spiders are referred to as small spiders, versus in uh, this version where they seem to be a bit bigger. So I was wondering whether we might encounter a bigger spider um, here. We, we, we seem to be encountering a lot of vicious creatures that are all trying to kill me, and I really, really do not want dogs to die. So, um... I really need to get the hell out of here. Oh gosh, can I get in here? Oh good. <laughs> I didn't do nearly enough, but never mind, it's alright. <laughs> Man alive. I, I I I why was there only one bit of dynamite for goodness sake? Yeah, yeah, I know I did terrible like. I know I did. Um Oh, at least we got a at least we got a new cutscene or nothing else. Oh man, that's like the Rock Creator HQ from the uh, from the the HQ uh, set that was actually made. Man alive! Righty ho then, let's um <laughs> let's move on from my absolute and categoric embarrassment from what I've uh, just uh, managed to achieve or fail to achieve more succinctly. And instead we shall um we'll have a look at the other missions because I am here to show off plenty of this game and definitely not just be dreadful at everything. Um let's do awesome for the sake of A seeing the ore and B seeing the lava. Half the reason I ran away from those monsters was not just because I was a coward, but because I was trying to protect Doc's life and I didn't want him to die, right? And I have no idea how to resurrect people. So, um... Oh, he's alive again! That's good. So they're not dead forever, they're just dead for a while. Alright. <laughs> Alright, okay. I don't understand, but I appreciate. A contact has been lost with a teleport pad to the southeast of a mining pit. I need you to get it back online. Unfortunately, the teleport pad lies on the other side of an underground river. Aren't they always on the other side of a river? We can't beam down any vehicles to help you as the ship's oil reserves are too low. If you manage to find some ore, then contact me via the teleport station. Our technicians might be able to build something with it. One final piece of information, our scanners have detected energy crystals in the area. It's not essential that you find them, but we'd be very pleased if you did. Oh, oh good, no time limits on this one. I don't mind time limits. I'm not a huge fan of time limits, right? I feel like time limits and live counters should have died with the arcade, right? But uh, I think we are going to go with... Um, I feel like we probably should do a mission with Axel, given that we haven't done one with him yet. But I'm going to go back to Docs, because, uh, to Bandit. Sorry. It always throws me off that the guy that has nothing to do with the sea is called Docs. Like D-O-C-K-S. But never mind, it doesn't matter, it's just another symptom of me being stupid. Yeah, this will save me uh, being dependent on getting a vehicle, so I can um, I can wander about uh, as much as I please. So um, we will. Uh, I will attempt to be slightly less cowardly in this mission, but never mind. <laughs> oh dear, doing these missions does remind me quite a bit of um, Run the Gauntlet, actually, from the PC version, which is probably the most similar thing that I can think of in the sense that you had a single individual that you. Uh, that you had, and you were just wandering around, drilling out walls, and um, and using vehicles and so forth. But um, 
But these are much more dedicated to that idea. What the hell is this stuff? I have no idea what that is. So what can I get? I could get a tunnel scout if I had four pieces of ore. The problem is I've no abilities how to get ore. Because I can't... Oh, I'm alive, you can jump far. I, um... Oh, why didn't I jump over the water as sparks? That would have been far more sensible. In fairness, I didn't know who was related to Sonic and uh, thus would die upon um, die upon impact. There's a scorpion over there, which isn't uh, which isn't an inordinate, inordinate degree of fun. Interesting they chose to uh, implement scorpions as an enemy type. I just find that curious, given that there were no scorpions in uh, in the PC version. Are there rock monsters in this? Oh, gosh. I don't know, but there's plenty of scorpions. Where's the ore for crying out loud? I, I saw something off to the right there, but I don't know what it was. I can only hope it was a gun. Um, man, alive. the lava's a lot um, redder than it is in the uh, in the PC version, which is curious. Right, allow me to draw my weapon. No, well, I'm going to shoot my weapon by accident, which isn't quite what I had in mind. Would you just die? Would you just die, you small shrunk? <laughs> you absolute pain in the neck. Just die. Alright, let's see if I can get you as well. So what the hell is this stuff? I don't know what those boxes and things are. Is that like something for my shield or something? Like shield power? I don't know, but the fact that I the fact that I can't get away from these guys quick enough in order to actually double back and then kill them is proving to be a little difficult. So um oh my giddy on I think I just shot the truck by accident. Never mind. Do I move any faster than you? Oh my giddy aunt! It's a scorpion with a laser on its face. Laser face scorpion. Now there's something that you um you can't buy in a tin. <laughs> Which I'm very really grateful you can't buy in a tin. Very really grateful you can't do that. You can buy like desiccated scorpions in tins of like a delicacy. Delicacy in huge inverted commas there. But um yeah. I think we've got enough bullets in order to kill one more guy. Oh, here's a piece of ore. How do I get this? Um, by pressing all the wrong buttons. How, how do I get this? Um, oh. Oh, you just sort of walk into it. Except not in the way that I did that earlier. Right. Naturally. Oh, no, 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 Kitty, I never liked spiders, and I still don't. Not upon meeting these ones. All right, if I get in this, I might be immune to the um, to the spiders if I can only remember how to do the controls. Okay, there's some hard rock there, which I might be able to drill with this, but um, but I uh, I, I I'm, not, I'm not I'm not certain. What the hell is this stuff? Um. Your guess is as good as mine. In fact, your guess is likely is likely to be better than mine, since um, I cannot possibly imagine that you deal with the same kind of mental problems that I deal with. Um, could this thing ever move its bum ever again? Thank you very much. It just needed a little break, probably from a break from listening to me whinge and moan all day long. Can I drill this? It would probably help if I could actually hit it on the right kind of angle. If you'd ever go forward, thank you very much. <laughs> I think the answer to this question is no, but <laughs> in the sense of no, it wouldn't go forward, and no, it wouldn't drill. Okay, n n never mind. We'll um, we'll take this with me, I suppose, not because I'm good at driving it, but because it does seem to make me immune to um, it does seem to make me immune to the scorpions and the spiders, of which I'm uh, of which I'm grateful because I need to run out of bullets. But uh, but never mind. I'm kind of uh, uh, retroactively glad. How the hell did I end up in here? Um, oh, that's interesting. You couldn't have got through a gap like that in the, uh, in the PC version. But um, yes, I'm uh, I'm I'm retroactively grateful that the PC version didn't entail um, didn't entail reloading or running out of bullets or anything like that because uh, that would have made life really rather really difficult. Okay, if I could, if I could. Uh, okay, so I can pick up resources when I'm in the uh, when I'm in a vehicle, which is nice. I do you find it weird that you can just carry as much as you want? Again, it's such a departure from only being able to carry one thing at a time. 
Never mind, I did see something red off to the right hand side for an instant. For an instant of a moment. I did, uh, I did see something, so, um... I should be careful about just careening around corners and stuff, because if I drive this thing into the lava, there's no way between here and eternity that it's going to survive. So I really, uh, I really should be careful. Yeah, yeah, careful of, careful of exactly that. Okay, let me try to go a little bit more slowly. There we are, we'll drill our way through here. Aha, here are some crystals, good. I can't even remember how many crystals it was that we needed, but, um... However many it was, it will be more than I can find. So, um... You can, uh, you can all look forward to that. Oh my kitty god. The problem is these controls are... They're not intuitive. I think that's the best word that I can use to describe them. They're not intuitive. I have to really sit and think and try to figure out what I should do with the, uh, with the, with the stick in order to, um, in order to do this. Could I do it with the D-pad instead, actually, now I think about it? Um, no, the D-pad doesn't do anything. Right then. That's good, because the D-pad on this is slightly gammy, but never mind. Oh, laser cutter! Good, I want to see if I can shoot somebody with this thing. Um, which is why I'm going to get the hell out of this thing. <clears throat> You pick that up. Thank you. So are the red crystals like special then, or are they just a way of making them different? I don't know. Can I shoot? I think that I probably can, but it seems as I've only got ten shots, so I'd best be uh I'd best be a little careful. Shoot! It's it It seems to shoot right over them. Which is back. Right, forward and left. Even though I wanna go wrong. There we are. I saved it and I've passed my test and everything. I've got a few plasma balls in the butt, but other than that, I'm absolutely fine. If I can get through the hard rock by shooting it with this thing, that doesn't seem like a stretch, does it? No, no, apparently it isn't a stretch. My giddy art. Because <laughs> the, uh, the small mobile laser cutter cut through, um, cut through hard rock with its laser in the PC version? You know, I genuinely can't remember. I genuinely cannot remember. I never really used the uh, the laser vehicles very much in the uh, in the PC version because um, the, the, it didn't have the same sort of recharging the crystals mechanic. Uh, sorry, I apologise if sometimes I just get a little quiet while I'm doing this. I am genuinely having to rack my brain just trying to figure out how to drive this infernal contraption. Man, alive! Right, come on, forward and then to the right. What I have to do is like kind of drive a little bit forward, like set her going. And then just um, then just sort of let her go, and then then control the um, then control the um, the left and right. Uh, I was on it. Okay, triangle seems to be Y. Something else that we've learned. Hooray! We've got a thing now, which is excellent. So um, oh my giddy on. Problem is, is, is this kind of goes off to the side, uh, seemingly of its own accord, which isn't great. Okay, good, this can't go over lava. I'm infinitely glad of that. Geysers? Uh, a, a, a geyser? Okay, I'm not sure why there's a geyser here, but okay. Um, I think I found what I needed to find. I've just been told the Total Palace back online. Excellent work. I didn't really do anything. I just kind of turned up. But all right. <laughs> I seem to be muddling through this with absolute... Um, Absolute impeccable luck. What did I get? I got eight red ones. I got a gold one. Hooray! I'm not a complete failure. Also, is it my imagination or are their expressions a bit more positive this time around? I don't know, but um, but we shall see. Oh my giddy! Yeah, it's all right. We saw this in the um, we saw this one in the uh, in the Basmon video, so I'm not going to be um too fussed about um too fussed about playing about playing that particular clip. So, um, I appreciate we've only got like five minutes left or so um, before we hit the hour mark, and I don't want to go much more than that. But since we've only got one level left, and I'm sure I'll be absolutely brilliant at it and will not suck at all, let's do waterways and see um, see precisely how, uh, how much time I can waste attempting to solve this particular little conundrum. <laughs> I was going to have to research how you find the other levels, unless just by completing all the levels you. Um, you access them. Maybe you have to like complete more to gold or something, and then you can access more levels. I don't know. 
One of our deep survey teams has reported faint traces of energy crystals in a newly discovered cavern. As you are our best rock raider, man alive, the competition cannot be very strong if I've come out on top. I'm asking you to find them. There is a large underground lake to the north of the cavern, so I've teleported down a rapid rider in case you need it. After you've collected sufficient energy crystals, head back to the teleport pad and I'll be you, beam you home. One last thing, rock raider. There are reports of... things moving down there. You mean something other than the bright green scorpions that shoot lasers out of their mouths? Something other than that? Oh, alright then. Something other than that. <laughs> I'm gonna go for um, for docks again because I want um, I want the, uh, the extra recharge on the shield because if there's going to be creatures that are alive down here then who better to murder a rock monster than a geologist? Oh gosh, is this actually going to have a rock monster in it? Because if I couldn't even kill a freaking spider there's no way under the sun I'm going to be able to kill a rock monster. But um... We shall see. <laughs> Prepare for action, yes please. Oh gosh, I've only got five minutes to do it as well. Oh dear. Alright, um, how many crystals am I even after? I can't even remember, I didn't even pay any attention. Okay, well here's the moving thing that they were that they were worrying me about. At least you can see it on the map so that we know it's not um we know it's not coming off from us, which is nice. I can see something on the far side of here, which isn't exactly great. I presume that north is like like um that way. If that doesn't seem ridiculous to say, there's a crystal here. And oh, there's a scorpion. Okay, so there's some, well, I presume it's more shield energy here. So does the shield not recharge on its own then? It like gets drained and then you have to recharge it with pickups rather than, um, rather than just, um, it just sort of regenerating naturally over time. Interesting. I feel I should probably, um, yeah, now that I've got the laser, I should probably try to kill the scorpions uh, where and when I can. Okay, let me get in this and see if we can um, see if we can get. Oh goodness! Oh, I forgot the controls are still balked, aren't they? I like the um, I like how sort of sort of jump around on the water. I think that's a lovely um, lovely feature that could um, that could end up in manning miners, and I would be um, I'd be most pleased. Right, I'm going to be a bit less pleased with my aim. I'm going to do my best to kill this infernal little creature. There we are. Pest control expert that I am. Oh my dear. Oh, come on, just die. Just die. Thank you very much. I appreciate your sacrifice. Wasn't much of a sacrifice. You put up rather a distinct battle, but never mind. Oh goodness, a lot of dynamite. Should we see if I can not totally waste it all this time by dropping it on the floor? Now, how did I change my weapons? Was it with B? Yes, okay, right, so I've got my various different accoutrements here that I can use for the murdering of beasts. So that's nice. So uh, this time we'll see if we can find some hard rock and actually blow it up properly this time instead of totally mucking everything up like, um, like I have done thus far. Is that another scorpion? It would seem to be yes. Can I shoot through here? Sort of, but he doesn't really stand in the crevice long enough for me to actually murder him. Which, as far as I'm concerned, is just positively beastly. Would, I mean, he is a beast, but that's not the point. Would you die? Would, no, apparently you wouldn't. My. Giddy aunt. Just freeze him. There we are. At least that's sorted the situation out. Now, where's my dynamite? Here it is. Now, how do I put this down? By pressing that button, and then I run away, because I am brave. There we go, that worked decently well. How many crystals was I actually after? I can't even remember. I don't also just seem to be able to go this way, which is weird, but never mind. Um, let me plonk that down. There we go. You kind of want to be close enough in order to see it, but I also don't want to be so close that I die. I don't quite know what the um, what the range on this thing is. What can I look at the brief again, please? Um, in order to uh, in order to see what the numbers that I needed uh, were. Eight. Giddy on, I'm not even halfway down. In fact, I'm exactly halfway down, but that's not the point. Um, oh gosh, where am I going from here then? 
Where I'm going is probably back to the Rapid Rider. That would probably be the sensible thing to do. Um, unless there's anything in this rock, I highly doubt it. That seems, uh, yeah, that seems like wishful thinking. Because I don't think there's anything down here along the bottom that I could go through. So I reckon I'm going to have to get back in the Rapid Rider and see if there's anything else in the sea that I can, um, that I can see, essentially. Um, forward and then left. There we are. Just sort of hold hold forward as your kind of default and then sort of adjust left and right as, as necessary. It's probably the only advice that I can give you. Okay, there's some energy here but I'm not overly fussed about that, mainly because we're about to run out of time, which is less than optimal. There's a crystal there, which is pretty awesome, but um, my driving is a bit less than, than, uh, than can be described using that word. Okay, there's no way to bust through here. So there's not a lot of point in faffing around here. So if I could just back, back, if I could back up a little bit, except I don't seem to be able to back up a little bit because I even got myself a bit stuck. There we are, that's a bit better. He says getting himself stuck again because he's not an expert when it comes to reversing. Um, what have we got over there? There's something, there's something floating about over there. Oh my giddy aunt. It's so freaking dangerous to be here. <laughs> Looks like that's where all the other crystals are though. So, um, that could be, um, that could be fun, if by fun I mean stupidly dangerous. Yes, 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 I know I was too slow. I know I was too slow. I'm a bit of a slow poke. I need to get on with my life and stop mulling around with no idea what I'm supposed to be doing with it. Man, life, we need, do need a lot of, um, lot of crystals for this one, don't you? I feel like this is the sort of thing that you have to lose at it a couple of times and then, uh, figure out, figure out the, um, strategy, if you like, like exactly where to go and what to, um, what to get. Can I jump in order to get away from these guys? Is jumping faster than, uh, than running? I, I don't know. I don't claim to understand these things. In fact, I don't frankly claim to understand anything. Right, can I just, there we go. It doesn't freeze them for very long, but, uh, I'm grateful for, uh, any amount of freezy breeziness that I get. Was there some hard rock that was obscuring this pathway before I accessed the uh, the dynamite or not? I cannot remember. I don't feel like there was. I'm so used to knowing everything about rock raiders that I'm not really bothering to um to uh, to pay a huge volume of attention to uh, to, to, to my uh, environment, which is uh, proving to be proving to be a bit of a mistake. I realise that now. Okay, there was no other crystals along here, so I'm not fussed about that. So let me just grab this bit of energy here, there we go, and then we'll run away. We'll grab the stuff that's behind the hard rock. It's a laser that ricochets, man of life. I get the distinct impression that these scorpions are not some sort of natural born uh, critter. Let's plunk that there and run the hell away. Maybe it'll blow up the scorpion as well, wouldn't that be lovely? Yeah, it did, it did hurt the scorpion, it did hurt the scorpion. I am actually surprised by that. Oh, they also have a sense of self-preservation, which, again, I'm surprised by. Right then, let me go north and try to get back on the rapid rider, and then um, we'll see we'll see what else we can find. Because again, we're only halfway. I do want to grab that gun. There we are. A few bullets as well, and um, a bit, a bit more, a bit more, a bit more energy. Right. Let's see if I can possibly drive my way over here without having a small accident. He says having a small accident. Just go left! Go left! Thank you very much. Reminds me of that silly advert they had on the television the other day about getting off the motorway if you're having a breakdown. That's not the point. That's bizarre and obscure and very, very, very um, specific to a certain location that you're almost undoubtedly not in. But that isn't to the point. The point is that we've got our thing and now we need to get the hell out of here. And like, I feel like the timing for this mission is not hugely difficult if only I could drive this thing with uh, a very vague degrees of success. Right, I'm going to jump out. Thank you. And then I'm going to try and sort of run around, grab all the crystals, and then get the hell out of here. Because we know we know we only need... Ow, my bottom. Do you mind not doing that? I sort of need my bottom for things, and now that you've put a great big claw mark in it, it's become rather difficult to use everything. I'm going to fire a few shots off ahead just in case it grabs anyone, although I highly doubt that it will. Um, 
because I really want to drill my way through here. But that seems like real, uh, real dangerous work. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and use my freezer on on these guys. There we go. Drill my way through here. Might need some uh, blasts, some hard rock afterwards. But um, there's loads of bullets. Uh, there's no crystal. I need another crystal, mate. I don't need a bullet. I mean, a lot of people would say that would be the perfect cure for all of my problems, but that isn't the point. The point is that we're in a pickle. <laughs> I didn't leave anything down here, did I? No, no, I didn't. Okay, well, this is a this is a situation. Ow, my face! <laughs> Let me just leap out of danger here and uh, get back on my rapid ride and get the hell out of here. Okay, right. I must have missed something. There must be like something down here. Anything? No, we've been here before, haven't we? I feel like this is this is undoubtedly where we've been before. Oh gosh. Oh, interestingly, the scorpion's health doesn't seem to respawn. You know what would help if I brought my blasted map back up? Yeah, because I still need another crystal, don't I? Yeah. You can hide in there, which is uh, good if um if like me you um. You enjoy cowering in small dark corners and weeping the evenings away, then uh, that's certainly something that you can do in the uh, multi-purpose teleport pad. Oh, Gideon. Okay, there is another crystal somewhere, but I nay a baldies where it is. I'm just going to kill this man, and by man I mean scorpion, out of pure rage and frustration, and then we're going to. Um... I'm going to try this again. Right. Give me a minute. I shall see what I can do. Right, I'm not entirely sure how, because I didn't think I picked up anything that I didn't pick up last time, but I seem to have uh, found the whole eight crystals. There's a little island off here to the right, um, just there where that scorpion is, which is where I think I missed a crystal before. That seems the most likely candidate. So, um, what I want to do is to get up here, if I could ever control this bleeding thing. Get out of it, thank you! Because uh, if I can grab these two red crystals off here to the right, then we might just be in uh, business for a um, for a first-class result. Is uh, is what uh, we will uh, get if I can only uh, maneuver this blasted thing out of here. Oh my Gideon! Right, come on, come on! Just stop getting stuck on the walls. Ah. The other thing is that, of course, the left and right are reversed when you're going backwards. And the left and right are already not conducive to actual left and right. So it takes a hard situation and it makes it worse. Right, just get out so we're back on foot, because I can vaguely understand how foot directions work. Okay, let's try and get out of there. We won't get a good time, because I feel like it would be a lot faster just to use the rapid rider than to, um, to sort of drill through the walls as I was doing. But hey-ho, we did it. I hope you're terribly proud of me. Oh my Gideon, that was um, that was quite difficult, <laughs> quite intense, but never mind. They seem quite cheery, so that's good. Hooray! We got all of the things that we needed. Of this, I'm grateful. Okay then, so um, has completing all of the missions unlocked anything, or uh, do I like need to get gold before I can unlock anything else? Because the person that helped me set up the emulator told me that there are more missions than appear in like the the basic menu. But goodness, I knows how to reach them. Oh goodness, we have one crystal crazy. Well, I've got no idea what that's going to involve. But um, oh what the hell? Why not do a stupidly long video again? Why not? Stupidly long videos are kind of my thing. After the last Daniel Torton video, which dragged on for about three hours. So, um, perhaps I really ought to just double down on my eccentricities rather than trying to suppress them. Okay, let's do Crystal Crazy and see what happens. At last, it looks like our luck is changing, Rock Raider. A deep survey team has just found a cavern packed to the roof with precious energy crystals. Your mission is to find and collect the energy crystals so that we can put the next phase of our plan to get home into operation. I should warn you that it's not all good news. The Deep Cavern survey team reports that the cave is full of alien life forms. One of the team even claims he's a giant ice monster, but don't worry, I'm sure he was mistaken because we've got no freaking evidence of that. Good, there's no time limit on this one. That I'm grateful. Okie dokie then, who should we go with? Um, I feel like we should probably do Axel for no other reason. 
But I don't want to drive the vehicles faster. It's hard enough to control these things in the moment. I'm sorry, Axel, but you're just going to have to wait. We're going to stick with dogs because of his regenerative shield. I'm sorry. I don't mean to discriminate, but, you know. Like, dogs is less likely to die, and we're more likely to have a head-on collision when we're, when we're Axel. So, um, maybe we'll see an ice monster. That would be cool. You'll also see me get eviscerated, which would probably be less cool, but hey-ho. You, um, you never can tell what an audience on the internet wants, so perhaps you do want to see that, and perhaps you would consider that rather cool. But, uh, never mind. I'm still curious what the point of these red crystals are. I mean, I get it that it's meant to be a different type of objective, but it's still being based on crystals. But, um, but why red? I do not know. I do not understand. Because to the best of my knowledge, the only crystals that were actually produced in terms of LEGO theme were the green ones in the uh, Rock Raiders era, until uh, sort of later themes came along which utilised them. Like um, Power Miners, which had a large degree of different um, different kids he aren't. different sort of colours and stuff. I haven't even begun, and people are already shooting at me. My kids aren't. This is a little scary. <laughs> this is a lot scary, actually, because I haven't got a weapon. If I jump, can that help me get away from these guys? Not, not, not really. No. Kitty, oh, these spiders are so insistent. I'm going to have to jump across the ocean, aren't I? Which is going to be really, 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 really dangerous. Ha ha! Kitty, I do not want to stand on that. That's going to get me killed. I, um... At least I figured out how to, how to avoid the skeletons. Ooh! A red gun! There weren't red guns in the PC version. There was a giddy aunt. There was, there was, oh, 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 oh. Can I walk along the side of these? Oh, I can? Oh, this isn't half as dangerous as it looks. Oh, my giddy aunt, this is slimy slug. Right, well, this is interesting. Um, so we've met a slug. That's, that's, that's nice. Unfortunately, I can't pet this one. Okay, they all seem to stop chasing me, which is lovely. There's some hard rock here that we shall not be able to blast our way through. Uh, until we find some dynamite, he says, walking into the uh, enemy fire. Would you die? Is this a pusher beam? Because it doesn't seem to be doing them any damage. I mean, that's what the third weapon type was in the PC version. You had the laser beam, the pusher beam, and the oh my giddy beam. beam. Uh, hello, hello, friend. You you, you, you you, look more like Berg from LEGO Racers 2, and you're also viciously violent. I don't wish to get within six parsecs of you, so if you don't mind, I'm going to leave post-haste. Okay, I only need one more green one, and then I need, um, then, then I need, uh, some, some, some red ones. So, um, oh gosh. Well, there's a red one, which is lovely, but I need to, um... I need to I need to go back and get that green one. Which is going to be a little difficult because there's a big spider there. It's a bit like me trying to go in the bathroom and have a shower and there's a big spider in the corner. Okay, right. No, oh, yeah, because then my then my then my then my jump runs out and then I have to take him for a little uh little circuit before I can get the hell away from him again. Dear oh dear oh dear. Also, is it my imagination or the sort of the tiles not sort of perfectly square this time around? I feel like some of them are just rectangles. Rather than, um, rather than squares. Oh my giddy aunt! <laughs> I, uh, I apologise both for the voice and for how stupidly dangerous that little endeavour was. Yeah, because if you look at this bit of water in front of us, it's like a rectangle, it's not a square, like the, um, the bit of ground that we're now uh, running around on. There we go. Okay, we're doing a little teensy tiny bit better. Not that we could be doing a hell of a lot worse. But, um, oh my giddy, at least we saw a monster, which is sort of cool. How many red ones did it want me to find? Um, I feel like it was like two for silver and four for gold. If we ever get to the bottom of this thing again. Yeah, which means there must be more here. So, since we don't have a time limit, I'm going to try and, um, I am going to try and find the ones that I've missed, because I'm not wholly sure where they are. Um... I think there's a bandit could just walk through the water and go down that way. Hmm. I do find myself wondering whether it, whether some missions like to get the gold that is necessary to have a certain character, not just preferable to have a certain character. But um, those things I should emphasise could be purely cosmetic. I have no reason to believe that they're dangerous, but 
I've never played a video game where a geyser wasn't dangerous, so you'll forgive me if, um... Kitty Yant! That's a vicious, vicious slug you've got there, my friend. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to get the gold, because there's no way to access the, uh... I, I, I found everything that there is uh, without without Bandit. We might replay it very briefly with Bandit just for the sake of um, for the sake of uh, seeing what's down there to the south. But um, never mind. Wonderful. I know things are a little hairy down there. Actually, they got a little slimy and a little icy. But never mind. Uh, you did good work. Uh, now we have enough crystals to begin exploring deeper into the planet's core. Oh. That's cool. So does that like, unlock new missions, Lark? Is that how that works, is it? Well, isn't that just positively spiffing? Um, yeah, I think we'll get silver for that. Yeah, but we'll pretend it's platinum. It's not platinum. It's not platinum. Oh, you people again. Great. I'm not in the slightest bit sick of you. <laughs> Interesting that the slug could actually do something... Uh, do something to injure me. Also interesting that in the cutscene the crystal goes like dim rather than uh, rather than purple, which is curious. But never mind. Um, yeah, I, I just find it interesting that the slug could um, the slug could injure you. Where of course the slugs can't do that in the uh, in the main game. Right. Now we just need Axel and his brain to um to sort this situation out. Yeah, don't mind the one you're literally standing right next to. <laughs> we attempted we could have just blocked it up, but never mind. Why um why use a pacifistic solution when you can do some murdering? Right then, so what's the situation with the menu? Uh, have I have I unlocked anything, or have I continued to be stupid and fail miserably in the achieving of uh, of everything? Because if I can't figure out how to get any more levels, then uh, then we may. Oh, there's more levels. Mmm, into the spider's nest. Nope. I am sorry. I don't care how much you pay me. I'm not playing that mission. Rapid rush, slug lake. That sounds absolutely horrible. Hot scoop. That, that also brings rather nasty uh, connotations of doing certain things in the park with your pet, but never mind. And High Flyer. That sounds alright, but also kind of implies that you spend a lot of time on aeroplanes, which means you're damaging the environment, which again is not excellent. Right then, never mind any of that infernal rubbish. So, um, yeah, I, um, I, 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 I'm going to very quickly replay this one on, um, with, with Bandit, so that we can have a quick look at the... A uh, bit of waterway that we didn't get to see, because I reckon that's probably where the other two red crystals are, which would allow us to um, get the gold on that. So um, I don't know if the rating really matters uh, in terms of whether, like, if you just get bronze and all of them, maybe then you can't progress. But because I got a couple of couple of golds and a silver or two, it um, it sort of allowed me to go through. I don't know really, but um, this is interesting. I like this. This is very different, but. Um, but quite a fun sort of change of pace from uh, from what you get in the in the in the PC version because I, I, as I think I've said a couple of times while doing the series on Manic Miners that I've often wished there was more levels within Rock Raiders that were like Run the Gauntlet where you just had like a specific individual and you were trying to achieve a, a certain goal rather than um, rather than always being focused on like the team management and the base building and things like that so um, maybe this sort of scratches that itch I. Uh, I don't know. I'm curious to know how the American one uh, differs from this. I don't know whether it's just different levels or whether there's also some difference in the mechanics. I can't remember. I cannot remember what the nice person said. Kitty heart. You don't mind, I'm just going to jump on top of the spider and then I'm going to walk in the sea. <laughs> the only thing is, is it kind of implies that water is only like hip deep, but never mind. Is there anything over here? No, there isn't. So I've got no idea what those other crystals are. Oh, hoopty doodle. Ain't that wonderful? Actually, no, it ain't wonderful because it means I don't know how to get the gold on this. But, um. Hmm. That really is a pickle I've got myself into. I, um. 
I kind of want to know what happens when you uh, when you get hit by the uh, by the guys. But again, we're not going to do that because we don't want anyone to die. So I am going to say quit the mission, please. Thank you very much. And then everyone's going to look very sad and very cross on the results screen, which is going to make me feel a bit guilty about life. But um, we will um we will live with it. Yeah, that doesn't look good, does it? Interesting, you still got a password. Hmm. Curious. I presume that that doesn't change my, like, rank for the mission, right? Like, if you pass it on gold and then you pass it again on bronze, that doesn't, like, change the gold to a bronze, right? It's like your best your best performance in any level, right? Presumably, yes. All right, then. Well, we've got a nice even distribution of different rankings, so that's, uh, that's good to know, if nothing else. Okay, then. So, um, yeah. So, uh, that sort of leaves us with the question of, 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 of what we do next, really. So, um... I very much enjoyed uh, looking through uh, this and exploring the P uh, PlayStation version. But um, I am quite curious to sort of get your thoughts on it as well uh, regarding videos, whether you would like to see uh, more. I don't know how many of, of these sort of screens there are, but presuming that we can get through sort of one screen in a video, then I don't know, there's like four of these, maybe? To make a completely random guess, judging by the amount of missions that the PC version had? I don't know. But, um, yeah, it, so it probably won't be like a 20 episode series like so many other things were, but um, if you would like to see the rest of it, then um, then 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 please do let me know so that I, 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 I know what people would like to see and what people would not like to see, so that I can sort of, um, well, produce what people want and not produce what people don't want to be, uh, to be completely blunt. So, um, I still have no idea what the, what the, um, what the passwords are for. I don't have any of the passwords written down, so we can't put them in. But if I sort of quit away from this, if I go new game, does that reset everything I've just done? Probably. Otherwise it wouldn't say new game, it would say continue, wouldn't it? Hmm. Hmm. Good thing I've got those passwords logged in the recording. I'm going to have to make notes of them as we go through an editing. So, um... Yeah, so we're back to, we're back to square one here. Interesting. That at least explains what the, um... That at least explains what the, the passcodes are for. That doesn't make a lot of sense, however, because w w when I was thinking of setting this project up uh, in terms of getting the PlayStation, like, proper doing on the original hardware, I I learned that the PlayStation didn't have any onboard storage, but it had a sort of memory card that you slotted into for doing save games and stuff, so the PlayStation should have been able to uh, save stuff, so I don't know why this wasn't, but um, we'll put the password in, which is, um, you know, flibbity bibbity bobbity babbity and, and all that jazz. And then, um, oh, I can figure it out by just pressing the buttons and seeing them here, can't I? I imagine that's not the password for anything, but um, I, uh, I, uh, I, I presume that's not the password for anything. Password not recognised. Well, no blatant surprises there, my friend. How do I get away from this with with enormous difficulties? That's that question. All right, well, I'll experiment with the passwords and see if I can figure out which password I need in order to get us back to where we were. Probably the password on that um, last mission that we did should unlock most of what we want, but. Um, we shall see. So, uh, yes, thank you very much for joining me uh, this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Please do let me know if you would like to see more of this, um, or if you think one video is enough. And, um, yes, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. We might do, if people do want to see this, I'm also going to have to wonder whether, you know, do we do all of this game? Do we do, like, half of it, and then, like, half of the American one? Do we do all of this one, all of the American one? Oh, I don't know. But, um, if you know, please do let me know, because, um, it's very difficult to do a lot of thinking when you're as stupid as me. But anyway, that's enough dreadful incoherent rambling from me uh, I hope you've enjoyed that uh, I very much enjoyed having a little look at this and a little explore so um, thank you very much for joining me this evening ladies and gentlemen look after each other and good night